Hey everybody, this is Chris, and in this video tutorial we're going to go ahead and we're going to create this post migration table, and we're also going to create the post model. So if you already have Jeffrey Ways generators all installed from the FAC that I asked uh, everybody to use, if you're using Sublime Text 2 or Sublime Text 3, then you're ready to go. So we're just going to hit Control Shift P, target our screen first, Control Shift P, and just type my just start type migrate and we're going to use level generate migration. Next we're going to name it, so we're going to say create posts table. And in here we're going to designate our fields. So we need a title for our post, we need a body for that post. I'm going to throw in some SEO stuff like a meta keywords and meta description. We need a way to create a slug for our URL and we need to tie it to a user. Even though this is only going to be a single user blog, we still need a way to tie it to them. So, first off, we're going to start with a title, which is going to be type string. Next, we're going to have a body for our post, which is going to be type text. Next, I want to, like I said, I want to give the user a way to add keywords and a description to the, uh, the actual meta part of the post. So, I'm just going to say M keywords. And that's going to be type string and then M description. That's going to be type string also, except we don't need a comma, we need a colon. So we have the string, we have the title, we have the body, we have the keywords, we have the description. Next we need the slug. So I'm going to say slug, that's going to be type string. And what that's going to do is if we go up here to chris.dev it's going to be the name of the post. So that's what it's going to give us, something SEO friendly. Next, we need a way to tie it to the user. And to do that, we're going to just create a foreign key. And we'll actually create the foreign key itself in the model. But this will be actually be the foreign value for that key. And it's going to be foreign. It's going to be user ID. And it's going to be integer, not string. Integer. And there we go. We have our post table created. Next, we're going to go ahead and create our model. So again, Control Shift P, and we're just going to type model and generate one. We're going to call it post. <clears throat> and in this model, we'll go ahead and define our relationship, and we're going to define a rule. So to define a rule, we're just going to take this pre this pre-made public static rules uh, here. And we're going to add some things. Now. We'll be able to use this on our controller and we'll call it from our controller, but for right now we're just going to define it. First, we're going to define that the title is going to be required. So inside this array, we we'll say title required. But also, we want this title to be unique. So we, want, we don't want a bunch of posts with the same title. So we're going to say unique, and it's going to be unique to the posts table. Okay, next. Next, we want to require a body. We're not going to require a description, you know, a meta description or meta keywords, but we do want the post to at least have a title and the body. So I'm going to say body, and then we're going to say required. And that's pretty much it <coughs> for the array. Next, we're going to define our relationship. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to define a relationship to the relationship to the user model. So this post is going to belong to a user and to define that we're just going to say public function user and they're going to say return this and we're referring to this post so this belongs to and it's going to belong to the user model and we're going to assign the foreign key now, and that's going to be user ID. Now, in a really perfect world, Laravel is designed to that if you're going to say a user model, it's going to automatically going to look for a user ID. That's in a perfect world, but I like to declare it explicitly so I don't run into any problems. So that is done. That's all for the post model. So we can go ahead and save that. Next, we need to go into the user model and modify that. This is the prefab user model. 
I've gone ahead and created a put some rules for the login form which you already have so you, you're requiring the username is unique to users email is required unique to users and the password is required now down here at the bottom we're going to add another one and this is going to be our relationship to the post so public function and I didn't spell it right function post and we're just going to return this. Now, a user can have many posts. So, to have that, it's simple. We just say this has many. And then post. So, this has many posts. Next, we can save that and we're done with the user model. Now, if you wanted to see what this all came with, you can easily just go into dev and just type in login. I already gave you the login methods. So here you can see login and I also gave you the register so you can actually register a user. So, but in the next video we're going to go ahead and dive into this post controller or the, the actual controller that we're going to be using. So I'll see you in that video.